Hey guys, it's 1.57 p.m. on October 24th, 2017, and we've had some pretty crazy wind stuff happening around here, so I want to share some uh, clips and stuff of the things that I've experienced over the last 14 hours, because I, I can't really figure this out, but it's definitely weird. So this is like 10 o'clock, well, no, this is about quarter to 11 last night. I take this video because the wind is blowing like hell, so let me just share this with you. The wind is blowing like hell here, so let me just take you outside and show you. Okay, what I want you to notice here is what happens when I turn my camera sideways, how the shh noise increases, okay? It gets much louder. There's definitely a certain level of energy in the air that's not just the wind, okay? And I'll be able to demonstrate that in a few minutes. So I go inside and I take a screenshot or a video here of what the wind speed indicators are in my area. Now just to give you an idea of where we are, where my area is, let me uh, show you right here on this map. We're in this northern part of Michigan. There's two peninsulas buffering us and we're right here in Elk Rapids. So when the wind usually comes out of the north, or, you know, the northwest, we're buffered by one peninsula and two peninsulas. So by the time you know you do your wind speed measurements here in Elk Rapids or down in Traverse City, they're going to be much lower than what you're going to get here at Mission Point or way up here on the, this peninsula. Okay, but that's not what I experienced last night. This is where it gets starts getting weird. Last night, the wind speeds that I'm taking now. This was right the second as I'm coming in the house. The wind speeds are 36 miles an hour with gusts to 43 miles an hour. So then I go and I do some measurements right here across from us. Different from one. You'll see I do the one across from us here at Elk Lake, and they're at 22 miles an hour. Okay. Then I go down south to the southern part down here near Traverse City and you'll see that they're also at that one's inland but then I do the one next to it they're also at 20 to 22 miles an hour so then I take us up to the northern part and you'll see as I click on Torch Lake this one's secluded at four miles an hour so we're not going to count that one but then I move all the way up to the northern part here and they too are at 21 to 29 miles an hour. Suddenly, what I'm showing you here is that for some reason, this little area is 15 miles an hour faster than all these other areas all the way around here. Okay? So I don't I don't I can't see what's happening at the beach yet. And I'll show you what was happening. I'll show you the beach in just a second. So then I go to bed and I wake up around 1.50 in the morning because I feel like you know, like when your ears are ringing really loud, it's like I could feel it from head to toe, okay? And I was, I took this screen capture at 2.01 a.m., sent to a friend by the grace of God to capture the fact that we had 45 mile an hour winds with gusts up to 47.4. I mean, they were really strong. They knocked over our, our flagpole. They actually snapped the whole metal thing, broke it right in half. So I take this screen capture and I go back to bed. So the next morning, this morning, I woke up to see what our, oh, and let me just show you this right quick here. See, we're at the Elk Rapids Harbor KRA5. That's what this is, that's what this is reading, 45 miles an hour, 47.4 at the KRA5, right? So this morning, I wake up to check KRA5 to see how high they got. And remember, that was at 2.01 a.m., so since this starts at midnight, it should have captured this right in here, right? But look, that, that data point has been scrubbed. Now, this is a public weather station. In other words, this is run by public officials. Okay, this is the municipal one. And for some reason, that dead data point, which should have the wind speed, so this blue line should be going all the way up to 
to the four, over 45 miles an hour. But you notice that they've scrubbed every data point. For some reason, they scrubbed this data. It's gone. It's not even registered on here. Now, they can do that because this is, this is a public official weather station. I did not get this. I did not take the screen capture from a private individual who can't edit their results. <laughs> Our public officials can edit their results. And as you can see, this data point that I captured at 2 o'clock in the morning, a 45 miles an hour with gusts, almost up to 50 miles an hour, you guys. You'd think that they, that, that would be um, something worth keeping on here. But for some reason, the public officials in Elk Rapids or whoever's managing this data decided to scrub that off. Because let me take you to 2 o'clock in the morning. 2 o'clock in the morning, the wind speeds, they're only, they're, they're, they've re-edited this to be 32 miles an hour and 26 miles an hour. That's not right. They were double that. So this morning, I, I wake up and I look out the window and I see some crazy stuff with our, with our waves. Now, this is not from this morning. I'm going to use this as a benchmark of a point of comparison for you right here. This is not from this morning. This was from about 10 days ago. We had really strong winds from the north. And as you can see, it really kicked up the water here. Okay. What I want you to notice, this is a benchmark. I want you to notice how all the waves are coming in one direction. So if you were on a raft or something out here, you would know exactly where it would come into shore based on watching these waves. Okay, all the waves and all the wind are blowing in the same direction. See? So if you threw a ball or, or you were a surfer and you were trying to catch a wave, you could, you could pretty much tell what direction it's coming from, jump on it, and know where you're going to land on shore because that's just how waves and water usually work. But that's not what we saw this morning. So let me take you back to this morning. I'm going to take you around the back of the house, and I want you to notice that the, the trees are not really swaying, which isn't so strange because we have a, we're like a buffer between what's happening on the beach and the back of the house. I mean, that's just totally natural, right? But listen to the noise and, and notice the way, the way the wind is blowing the branches and stuff, and you can also see our little broken flagpole. Okay, and I'm going to let you hear how noisy it is here. You hear just that shh noise. So there's a tremendous amount of energy in the air. But notice that the, um, the trees aren't blowing too hard. Even though they're buffered, they're still taller than the house. The winds aren't blowing that hard back here. And also notice that my photo sensor on my camera is not having any problem focusing on the different shadows and stuff. There's not any sun out. It's actually raining when I'm taking this video this morning for you guys. And you can see the, the branches are swaying a little bit. But it certainly doesn't match the noise. Listen to it. Listen to how loud it is. So there's a tremendous amount of noise. Now watch what happens with the photo sensor on the camera as soon as I turn the corner. Photo sensor starts going bananas. That is the electromagnetic frequency in the air that's being pummeled in front of the house. It's awful. It's awful. I'm going to do that one more time so you guys can see how it's pulsing. As I turn the corner, I want you to notice the camera can't focus because the EMFs are triggering the light sensor and the camera doesn't recognize the difference between the EMF signal and the light. But there is no light differential. I mean, there's a little bit of shadows, but what you really see, are seeing right here is the pulsing of the EMFs from the towers that are across the bay. And that's, it's just pummeling us here. Now you see the winds are a little bit stronger in the front of the house, but they're still, they're nowhere near like they were the night before, right? I mean, they're just not. I, I registered them. They're around 20 miles an hour. They're certainly not 40, 45 miles an hour. Now, what I want you to watch is as I get down to the beach here, look at these waves. Look at these waves. Listen to the roar. 
listen to the roar of the sound of the waves and then watch the waves and you tell me if you were on a dinghy out there where would you blow into shore Now, in case it's not obvious to you what's going on here, I'll tell you because I've been watching this bay my whole life. So I know what I'm trying to show you guys is that like right here, this wave right here to, is going to the left. This one is going to the right. This one is rolling into the right. This one's rolling in almost up from the left. These waves are omnidirectional. These waves are not reacting to the wind. This is, a, this is something completely extraordinary that we're watching here. I'm going to rewind this a little bit. You can see these two waves crash into each other right here. That That's just bizarre. You see that? It's like a big bathtub with a bunch of little kids splashing around in it. It makes absolutely no sense, but but there's a tremendous amount of force in the water. Look at all the debris that's being kicked up from the weeds and the, and the sand in these waves. They pack a punch. You can notice that the swaying of the way the branches and the grasses are going, the tree branches, the waves are not, uh, the wind is not all blowing in one direction. I'm going to back this up again and show you. And you can see these waves are just not going in any direction. This this wave right here is going over this way. This one's coming over this way. This is just, this is ridiculous. I mean, this is just this is completely not normal at all. And look at all the crap it's, it's, it's billowing up from the bottom. So there's a bunch of force in these waves. There's a ton of, of energy blowing through here. But look at these waves. They're not going in any particular direction. Look out here. These things aren't rolling anywhere. They're just, it's like the whole, like a big bowl. It's being splashed around. This is very not normal. And you can see the grasses are just kind of blowing in different directions. And the, and the, it, the tree just doesn't, it's not blowing in any particular, there's just no real direction here. It's just freaky. Now, there are times when you have a wind change. The wind will change directions about 2 o'clock on a sunny day here, and you'll, you'll, everything will go quiet, and then you'll have a little bit of disturbance where it's hard to tell which direction the wind is blowing, and then it'll shift directions. It's when it's in irons. But that's not what we're seeing here. This is sustained, omnidirectional chaos, and I've never seen anything like this. You know, towards the north, it looks as if they're blowing in, in a more consistent pattern. Now watch these branches as I pull out here. Watch how my camera kind of loses focus on this. See that? Look at that. It's like it's picking up the EMFs in the atmosphere. I'll back that up again and show you one more time. As it backs up, my camera loses focus on this as if it's responding to light. But there's no light here. There's no light differential here. There's no bright light shining in this. What that is is electromagnetic energy that's in the atmosphere. It's just ridiculous. So I don't know, you guys, I just, you can see it pulsing through between the trees and my camera responding to it as if it's light. And uh, there's just something totally messed up here. And since our particular neck of the woods here, quite literally, is on the chopping block for Agenda 21, <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping a really close eye on this. I thought it was funny that we have a uh, Pine needles splatted all over the front of the house. It's something we don't see very often. But, um, yeah, I just thought I'd share this with you guys to show you that, that things are just strange. I don't know.
I can't really explain it, but I've never seen waves do this before. Look at they, they just like back up. It's like they're going backwards in some areas. I mean, they're rolling this way and now I, I don't know. This is just the strangest thing ever. I mean, not ever, but it's really, really strange. So since I caught it on camera, I just thought I'd share it with you guys. And uh, I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good at all.